Welcome to Chuck Builds. Today I'm going to show you how to flash Tasmoda onto your Sonoff S31. The Sonoff S31 is my go-to choice for a Wi-Fi smart plug. This smart plug with Tasmoda is unbeatable for the price and performance. Getting calibrated power monitoring, almost instant on and off, all for under $10 per piece or a two pack at only $16. I will have a link to buy these in my description and I'll get a small commission off of Amazon if you choose to purchase it through my link. In order to flash Tasmoda onto a Sonoff S31, you will need the S31 itself, a serial to USB converter. I'll have a link to this in my description on Amazon. If you wish to purchase this, I will get a small commission if you purchase it through my link. It is necessary for your computer to speak to this plug. An optional but highly recommended accessory would be these spring-loaded clips to make connecting your Sonoff to this serial to USB converter so easy. You'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver, a computer, and a mini USB cable. So today we have the Sonoff S31 smart plug that has built-in power monitoring. And these are great value on Amazon at about two for $15 or one for nine. They have their own app called eWeedlink and I will be totally ignoring that because we are going to be installing Tasmoda onto this. And we get the pretty sleek plug here. I do prefer this format of plug where it's wider and narrower across the top because some of the round ones don't fit on an outlet. You can't put two on top of each other or you can't plug something else in. Everything in this video is perfectly safe to do as an amateur, but ensure that your power is disconnected from the Sonoff S31. Electricity can kill. Be safe. In order to install Tasmoda, we need to get inside of this Sonoff S31 smart plug. So we'll start by removing this gray cap. I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and find a corner and pop it underneath. And then I'll remove the two channels and then we'll unscrew these three screws. Once the screws are out, we will remove the faceplate from the actual circuitry. And these are the pads that we'll be using. Inside of the Sonoff S31 smart plug, we will be working with the side here. And we have our VCC, our RX, our TX, and our ground that we'll be using. We will not be using this DRX or DTX just these top three and the bottom one. On our serial to USB adapter, it's a little hard to see, but down here we've got some small text. We've got RX, TX, VCC, and ground. And those are the pins that we'll be using to connect to the Sonoff plug. To connect our serial to USB converter to the Sonoff S31, we'll be using these gator clips that I showed earlier. And we'll just be reaching up and pinching these wires and letting it clamp on. And then I'm going to call out that I'm using yellow on the receive and green on the transmit because we'll have to flip those when we connect it to the Sonoff plug. So that's what we'll be working with here. And I also want to call out that this jumper right here is set to the 3.3 volts. You can switch that by just pulling up off of the board that there is five volts in the left and 3.3 volts in the right. And we're just playing it safe, going with the low voltage and moving this jumper over to the right side. So going off of the wiring that we used on the USB to serial converter, I will be putting my black on ground and make sure that that pad is pretty well centered there. I'll be putting my red on VCC. And we need to swap our RX and TX from what we chose on the USB to serial converter. So on the RX, I had put yellow on receive. So that means on the plug, I will put yellow on transmit. 
And with the same logic, I had put green on transmit on the USB to serial converter. So I'll put green on receive and that's to facilitate communication. They can't both be transmitting at the same time and there'll be nothing to receive if they're both on receive. So we've got those swapped. So on our PC, we will go to tasmoda.github.io slash install. We will connect our mini USB to the serial to USB converter. And then while we are pressing and holding the power button on the Sonoff, we will take the other USB and plug it into the PC. And we will press connect. Choose our USB serial port, COM4, paired, and then click connect. And click install Tasmoda. Erase device, next, and install. For our reassembly, we will simply slide the plug back into its housing, put our screws back in, and then we will slide our channel covers back over, and then finally reattach our power button. And this will just snap on. and our plug is ready to be set up in Home Assistant. So we'll plug it in, and the blue light is flashing, telling us that it's looking for a connection. So on your phone or your PC, I'm gonna do it on my phone just because it's a little easier for me right now. I'm gonna go to Settings and then Wi-Fi and choose Tasmoda and let it connect us to Tasmoda. Here we'll choose our Wi-Fi network and click Save. And so taking this IP address, we will take it to the computer. Inside of Home Assistant, we'll go to Settings, People, and then Users, and we will create one for Tasmoda. Inside of Home Assistant, we'll go to Settings, People, and Users. We will add a user for Tasmoda, and then click Create. And back over on the Sonoff Basic plug, we'll go to Configuration, MQTT, Enter our IP address of our Home Assistant host. And then for the user, we're going to say Tasmoda. We're going to check this password box saying that there is a password. And then we'll paste our Tasmoda password in there and click Save. And it will restart the device to save that. And while we're in here, I'm going to go to Configuration, Module. And I'm going to change this to Sonoff S31. And then click Save and I'll have to restart again. And then lastly, we'll go to configure other and we'll give this a friendly name. I'm gonna call it Tasmoda Chuck Builds 31 and click save. Back inside Home Assistant, we'll go to settings, devices and services, and then add integration and type in Tasmoda. Click submit. And our Tasmoda Chuck Builds S31 showed up and you can give it an area. I'm just gonna click finish. And we can see our one device here and we can quickly turn it on and off and we can see our power draw statistics. This may need to be calibrated and you can do so with like a light bulb or something that you know the power draw of or something like a kilowatt. So we're within one watt of measurement and I would say that's a success. So the last thing that I'll cover is adding the smart plug to our Home Assistant Energy Dashboard. We can do that by going to Settings, Dashboards, and then Energy. And we're going to add it as an individual device. So Add Device, and then we will choose the Energy Today, and click Save. And it'll take up to two hours to show up in our dashboard, so we'll come back then. So after about two hours, under the monitor individual devices, we got to see the Tasmoda Chuck Builds S31 energy total for today at 0.03 kilowatt hours. I honestly was expecting to see it up here with the energy usage, just because when I do it on my personal one, my plugs report up there. And I realized the difference is 
for the dashboards and then energy that I have mine under grid consumption and not as a device. I honestly don't remember this individual devices being an option. Um, I think it's the correct spot for this. When I click more information, it specifically calls out smart plugs, but I just wanted to, to share that with you. I was expecting to see it up here and it is not. And I couldn't figure out why, because mine does that. And I saw that on my personal one, I don't have my plugs there. I have them under my electrical grid. I hope that you're successful with flashing Tasmoda onto your Sonoff S31 smart plug. And I hope that you got it into your Home Assistant dashboards as well. I really like this smart plug. I wanna make sure it works for all of you. Let me know if you got it to work or if you need a little bit of help in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next one.